In this video we are going to learn how to break up with someone you love. Deciding to break up with your significant other can be stressful and upsetting for both persons. But by taking the time to consider if this is the right step and breaking up with your partner in a rational, respectful, and composed manner, you may minimize the pain and effectively make the split. In the pit of hell, put it across fire, put fire on the big guns. These is for robbers, violence only creates confusion. It ain't a problem, stop it, let's go. Step 1. Avoid making a rash decision. It's important to consider your decision when you are not emotionally upset and able to think clearly. This can help you avoid making an impulsive decision that you may regret or hurt the other person. Step 2. Clarify why you want to break up. It's important to gain clarity as to why you want to break up. This can help you distinguish between the simple road bumps in a relationship and more serious and irreconcilable issues between you and your partner. Step 3. Compose a list of positives and negatives. Consider writing a list of reasons you want to end your relationship. You may also want to include positives and negatives about your partner and the interactions and relationship you share. Step 4. Decide if change is possible. If you're simply upset with your partner, consider if there is a way to change the dynamic in your relationship. Before making a final decision, you may want to focus on resolving issues, rather than simply ending the relationship as the first solution. If change is an option, see whether or not your partner is willing and able to change. Step 5. Communicate your frustration. Before you decide to make a final break, discuss your frustrations and considerations with your partner. Give him the chance to make changes for the better. If you eventually decide to end the relationship, this may make it seem less abrupt and soften the blow because you will have already voiced your frustration. Step 6. Establish a reasonable timetable for change. You want to avoid getting into an endless chain of hoping for your partner to change and then experiencing disappointment. Setting a limit on timing for your partner to change can help make your decision easier in the long run. Step 7. Confide in a trusted person. If you are having a difficult time getting any clarity, talk about your feelings with a person you can trust. This can help you talk through your feelings and more effectively clarify where you stand. The trusted individual may also be able to add some perspective to your or your partner's behavior as well. Step 8. Render your final decision. After you've considered the various dynamics of your relationship, discussed them with your partner, and given your relationship a second chance if applicable, make a final decision on the fate of your relationship 18 this can help you begin to move on and plan for a respectful and honest breakup with your partner, or focus on healing your relationship further. Step 1. Schedule time to have the breakup discussion. It's best and most respectful to end your relationship in person and discuss your reasoning. Scheduling some time in a quiet place that will allow you and your partner to be alone can help make the process easier and minimize intrusive interruptions. Step 2. Choose an appropriate location to break up. You may want to have the conversation in private to prevent the risk of embarrassing yourself or the other person. In addition, pick a place that you can leave easily so that you don't get into a protracted or circuitous conversation. Step 3. Plan the breakup conversation. Consider what you want to say to the person. Having a basic plan of your conversation can minimize becoming over-emotional and help keep you on track. It may also make it easier for you to not hurt the person any more than necessary. Step 4. Break up in person. Although it may be easier to break up with someone if you don't have to look the person in the eye, ending a relationship by phone, text, or email is impersonal and disrespectful. Unless you're a long distance away and choose not to wait until you see the person again, or you're afraid of the other person, give the person the respect she and your former relationship deserves. Step 5. Maintain composure and respect. Sit down with your partner and let him know that you've decided to end the relationship. Approach the breakup as calmly and respectfully as you can, with a sense of resolution, 
which may help make a bad situation seem slightly less negative and devastating. Step 6. Focus on the relationship issues, not the person. Talk about what isn't working for you in the relationship, rather than telling the other person what is wrong with him. Talking about him personally can make what is likely a devastating situation even worse. Step 7. Try to avoid creating false hope. Certain open-ended phrases and words can leave false hope with the person about getting back together. Leaving the door open for her can only hurt her and you more. Step 8. Anticipate your partner's reaction. Prepare yourself to counter your partner's arguments, reactions, and outbursts. This can help you stick to your decisions and may minimize potential manipulation by the person. Step 9. Distance yourself. This is one of the most difficult, but important, parts of a breakup. Try and minimize contact with your ex and his friends to help minimize feelings of guilt or giving them false hope. 